now for the last bit of our rally day i'm going to be working on electric circuits first thing what we are going to be doing is an electric electromagnet so for what you need is an something that is iron like a round iron nail or some like a iron tool or anything anything like that next thing what you are going to be doing needing uh, is a long wire uh, the other one is a cell so now what are going to be doing is do not uh, now the wire you should never cut it too much like this you uh, the thing the wire gets too much heated and you will feel a shock so now what you need to do is wrap the wire tight tightly around the it has to be very tight and gapless the more gapless and more tighter it is the more attractive the power of the elect uh, electromagnet gets so now what you need to do is very simple just connect these two ends of the electromagnet wire and then hold it tight any side will work okay so now we need to hold the better now and yes you also need a safety pin for it to for uh, to test the magnetism oh god this thing never wants to stay with me okay next the other end so now just attach this here and then this there and there you have your electric magnet electromagnet make sure that the copper wire touches it and how you hold it as tight as possible and as soon as you leave the electromagnet loses down after the electromagnet is uh, over the effect of the electromagnet still says and a normal iron becomes a ma temporary magnet the effect still stays anyways so the next one what we are going to be doing is an electric channel to the dc motor first without the switch and next with the switch what you need to do are two wires what you need for these are two wires positive and negative a dc motor of course and a cell and for the second one if you need if you can also use a switch so what you need to use in a dc motor there are two of these things like these there are two of them and in one of them put in any of them actually not one of them any of them you can put you have to roll them down so it can be like thin as possible you have to put it inside of it and then bend secure secure it in next one the other other one also you can you have to you have to roll it down as thin as possible and then put it inside of this oh god it has to be as thin as possible actually and yes after the current uh, after the current is over after the circuit is over make sure that the positive that the positive wire does not touches the negative wire then it will not work or it might lead to heating up of your hands when you are holding it okay 
Okay, this thing is actually harder than I thought. I'll try with the other hand. Yeah, the other hand is short and... Okay. So, after, the, after connecting both the wires, of course, the other ends after uh, the other ends of oh no this thing is broken so what i'm going to do now is use the smaller wires that i have so i'm just going to use the smaller wires so, yeah like this it'll be easily secured Sorry. Then this. So after connecting both the wires, uh, you have to use, you just have to connect the shell, cell of course. Yeah, the, shells, the wire should be attached to there. And this. Now this came off. So just bend, just bend these two parts so it just stays secured. After doing all the securing work, connect the other ends for the cell. can see it's spinning as soon as you leave one of the wires the circuit breaks and it stops now okay for the next one same DC motor trick but with the switch of course and how to use the switch you have to connect the both the wires normally like this and then connect one of the one of the end one wire any black or blue, black or red i'm doing red to the uh, to the uh, to the one to the exposed thing which is not exposed too much to the outside so this side you should connect it to the uh, to this side oh shit make sure that it is tight it is tied like this after that attach the negative part of the cell to this and then you can see that it's not working you can see that it is actually not working But why? Because the switch is off. On the switch. And then put it exactly over there. And now off the switch. Now 
and it does not work again on and it starts working so this is how the switch with the switch it works so for the next one i thought of to do the light one but i've me and my friends have tried so much with the light but it did not work so we'll see the the light one next <laughs> 